Yes, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a brand new episode of Palau Munchies. If it's not obvious enough, we are here at Fat Buns, based on Lady Who Road. Fat Buns specialise in what we call smash patties, which originate from America. I've heard great things about their Leicester brand. I think they have two flagship stores there. What's quite nice is they are with in alignment with the COVID-19 guidelines. Just on the right of me, I can see a banner right now just stating out um, COVID-19 safety information. So that's a very big positive straight away when it comes to you know dining out. And also just whilst I'm here, even though I do the full exclusive review at the end, they've got a car park just off the side road uh, on Lady Cooper Road. So then again, all you guys that drive, for your peace of mind, you know that you're gonna get parking. I think there's about 30 spaces. Hopefully it's a very promising episode for you guys and I'll catch you when the food comes. Right now, what, what hits me is the orange, so the bright neon lights. Uh, you can kind of see what uh, brand they're going for, the neon lights. Very hungry as always, but nonetheless, we've ordered. Fantastic staff, they're working as hard as they can right uh, behind this counter and we're looking forward to a very delicious meal and I'll show you when the food comes. So guys, here's the menu breakdown. It's a very simplified menu. First of all, you get a bright colour of orange that hits your face. Uh, so you can't essentially miss it. Um, the serve is pretty simple. Uh, even a Dumbo can understand this. It's step one, step two, uh, step three, and then lastly you can just top it all up uh, with either a frozen drink uh, or just a can. Uh, but usually what they've simplified it by doing is uh, actually a Cheetos range. So I'm probably going to opt for one of them right now. We'll just take into consideration that you do a uh, all day breakfast, which is quite nice. So all you breakfast lovers, uh, pop down here and grab yourself a nice egg, muff egg uh, muffin. I was, was going to say egg muff muffin. Plus a huge, 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 huge bonus point is they actually do a vegan bun, a vegan patty. So they're catered for the vegans also. So again, they're off to a very strong start and I love their branding by the way. They've also got a uh, fat loaded range at the back so this is uh, something I missed. Again it's very simplified in steps. Uh, then you do get a portion of wings. I might grab a portion of wings too to be honest and then you get your hot dogs also. Uh, just bits and bobs really. If you want to pause the clip right now you're more than welcome to. So that's the brioche bun. Uh, what's after that? Lift it up. Lift it up for me. Uh, you've got some uh, lettuce, a massive tomato, uh, a gherkin, cheese, and then lastly a crispy fried chicken patty. Is uh, there any sauce on the bottom? Uh, that looks like some sort of burger sauce they have there. So that's the construction of the burger. Oh, that's tasty. Crunchiness from the coating of the chicken. Sauces are not too uh, hard. They're not all over the place. There's enough sauce on there. I'm not too much. The, you know what? The onion ruins it. Too, I mean, sorry. The tomato ruins it. It just slides off. But the brioche bun, brioche bun holds it together. Part. So uh, the chicken burger is pretty good. So what we got here is the same again. The brioche burger. What's that? Turkey rashers, gherkins. What's under that? Is that an egg? Egg. Patty. Egg patty. Let's see. Go on. Give me a little close up. Yeah. Is there two patties there? No. There's two patties. Okay. Two patties. Go on, give it a taste test. I won't get your face in. Uh, but give it a taste test. Oh, I hate that. Big bite from a big lad. Did you? How was it? Perfect. So we're just going to unravel the other burger we've got here. And I believe this is the brioche with a four ounce patty, the turkey rashers. Let's see what's going on. Wow, and just look at that. So again, we're gonna do a little unboxing. Uh, unboxing? <laughs> Unraveling, we'd say. You've got, uh, I believe that's a fat one sauce, lettuce, 
that's a tomato and then you've got a uh, few patties four ounce patties uh, turkey rashers we've got a bit of lettuce uh, and a tomato here we go it's seasoned parsley there's little see the quality of the meat is amazing because I believe I spoke to the the owner uh, this is fantastic quality Aberdeen Angus beef. It almost crumbles in your mouth, which is a weird explanation of how to describe beef. Mm. Oh. This is delicious. So little crumbly bits of mincemeat just dance around in your mouth. Then you're coated with a very wholesome and creamy feeling of this cheese that you get. Bit of snap from the lettuce, bit of bite from the tomato. Guys, comment below, should tomatoes be in burger? Because I know a lot of food bloggers don't like uh, tomatoes in their burger. But this right here, high quality and delicious. No complaints whatsoever. So just the construction of the Cheetos burger. So as you can see, you've got the brioche bun. And on top, you've also got a bit of Cheeto dust, as they say. And so if we almost unlayer it one by one, so if a little zoom up, so you've got your you've got your lettuce, and then you've got underneath that a tomato, some cheese. You've got three massive, well, I'd say massive, two ounce patties each, so it's like six ounce. And then just here you've got crumbles, little crumbles, as you can see, just all the way around of Cheetos. So apparently they're supposed to give that big spice kick uh, of um, of the flavour, so the burger. So I'm really, really excited for the moment you've all been waiting for. In front of me, I have the well-known Cheetos burger. I think it's a universal brand. Everyone that can associate themselves and recognise the Cheetos brand. Apparently, this is a rumour. I'm not too sure. These Cheetos are banned in the UK. Uh, actually, the crisp form. Have you guys heard about that? I'll give you a quick zoom in here. Look, look, look at that. Can you see it? You have these little Cheetos there, just dancing about. Mm. I'm gonna enjoy this one. Okay, I'll see what we've done there. They've added two extra things, right? They've added the heat from the Cheetos to give it a bit more spice. I think the lady who rode has a prime demographic of South Asians who just love spicy food, so they must have implemented that. The second thing they've done is they've added a bit of crunch now with the crisps. They're a bit like, um, you guys remember old school Watsits? They're a bit like Watsits. If I'm being honest, out of the two, I'm a very simple man. Simplicity is key, so I'll probably just go for the standard uh, brioche bun, Angus beef. What I like about this is there's not too many crazy flavors that's going on, so you don't have a huge swing of salt or like, and you know, you're overwhelmed with the chilliness of, say for example, the sauce. Okay, this is weird now. As a food blogger, I really like to critique things and make it very, very as honest as possible. They've smashed it with the parking outside. I've been at Lady Pool Road, look through my playlist. It's been a common theme that, you know, parking has been an issue. The food is at the utmost high quality. So, um... This is gonna be a very, very strange feeling for me to give a perfect score. It's just, I don't know, it's a nice apple. Just gonna go in for the wing now. It's crunchy and it's slathered. Sorry, it's lathered with a, looks like quite a, a tangy sauce from uh, the appearance. Mmm. Oh, you gotta try the wings. Big spice kick. Spicy and tangy at the same time. Chicken's cooked well. Super crispy. Oh yeah, these are good wings. I've never tested them before, so I don't know why you're tasting them. No, no. You're okay. Oh, it's nice. <laughs> It's got like some sort of a spicy sauce on top, a soft bun. The dog itself, it's um, a bit rubbery. You get that coating, which kind of um, you know bumps it up a little bit uh, with the salsa. Mixed feelings on the hot dog. Not much of a comparison I can make uh, with the actual uh, the hot dog. <laughs> Interesting concept to the loaded fries, the traditional loaded fries. It's super cheesy as you can see. So uh, right now, I don't know if you can see that. Let me just try and get you a uh, little close-up. That is what you call a mango habanero wing. The size of the wing is not too big. Again, it's deep fried, it's lathered with that sauce. So here we go, let's try this. Ooh. Oh 
was gonna say sweetness of the mango, then I'm now gonna say the spiciness of the habanero spice. I love flavors when they are very in alignment with the contrast. What I mean by that is, you get a spice kick and you also get a sweetness kick and then you get the balance of flavors, so. Personal point for me, I don't like it when they're deep fried and then they have this sauce. I understand that you need to establish some sort of, you know, spices there after you've deep fried them. But, okay, the pros of this is the batter is not too salty because usually a lot of the batters that go onto the wings are quite salty. Uh, chicken is cooked very well. It's not hard, it's not tough, it's not tough, it's not too soft even. It gets a bit soggy. It does get a bit soggy when you do almost lather that um, sauce on there. So yeah, these are pretty good. Let's try. Uh, let's try this little slush going on. This is amazing. I'm getting cinema vibes. So we've just finished up a lovely meal here at Fat Buns. I'm joined by the owner right now. I'm just gonna fire away a few questions. Um, and hopefully he asks you and give you a bit of a deeper insight of uh, what Fat Bones is about. First question is, I know this has been a quite a smooth transition from a successful Leicester branch into the Birmingham branch. So what was the main inspiration of coming to Birmingham? The, the main inspiration uh, to launch Fat Buns was, um, obviously, I like burgers myself. Um, a lot of the new generation like burgers. There, there isn't a proper halal smash burger joined in the whole of the UK. So we put the concept together, we launched it in Leicester, it was, a, it was a hit in Leicester. Now we've launched it in Birmingham and it's an even bigger hit. And now we're going for the whole UK launch. We designed this store to um, state of the art, latest um, design, latest um, furniture, all concept uh, is different to Leicester. I noticed the simplicity of the menu is quite nice. So you broke it down step one, step two, step three. But more specific on the products, what have been your best sellers since you've opened? Our best sellers is basically our um, Angus beef that we use. Um, we use a smash patty, uh, which is originated from America. We travelled all over America to uh, find the right blend, um, and we did. Um, there wasn't many halal uh, smash burger joints in, uh, in the USA, but we did uh, nail down the blend, and now we've launched in the UK. And lastly, what would you say are your long-term goals from the longevity perspective? Uh, where do you see the Fat Buns, uh, Fat Buns brand going? We've had a lot of inquiries, a lot of uh, exposure since we've opened up in Birmingham. We've actually had international inquiries from uh, places like Qatar, Dubai, um, even Switzerland. Um, our main aim is to launch it all over the UK first and then hopefully internationally as well. So guys, we just finished off a delicious meal here at Fat Buns. Usually when it comes to the burger market, it's very saturated. There's loads of burger places being opening up left, right, centre. But we believe that this one, there is a clear highlight of how burgers should be. Obviously they've trialled it and actually have two flagship stores in their Leicester region. Just based on the interview I've just had with the owner, you can see clearly what the ambition is for the longevity perspective. Coming on to food, which is the most important, I am going to score Fat Buns 4 out of 5. I think that's a very promising, very strong, and a very convicting score to score them such at that level. I think the beef patties quality really blew me out of the water really. One thing I really did like was the simplicity of the burger. They didn't try to cram too much in. Well, you can if you want to with the extra add-ons. Uh, but usually what I got was the Angus beef burger. Uh, and then I got the Cheetos burger, four ounce and then a six ounce respectively. Fantastic, I really couldn't criticize too much. Usually I like to nag. As you know, as a food blogger, you have to be uh, on point, you have to be very specific to you know, give an honest review. Um, the beef, not salty at all, perfectly seasoned. I think we've, I've even managed to get some footage in the kitchen where they were making the burger, they gave a little spray of salt and pepper or perhaps that's a unique spice blend. How they make it is very unique, it's very quick and it's not too overcomplicated. Service, I'm gonna be honest with you, it was okay, not too bad with it when it comes to customer centricity. Concept is you get a menu at the start, you sit down, then you go up to the counter, you order, and then they bring out the food. Uh, price, I believe the benchmark, we, there was about four of us when we came, uh, it was about 40 pounds, 45, can't remember from the top of my head, but I'll put it right in the screen right now. Uh, not too bad when it comes to price, bearing in mind that simple bag is £6.50 with a side of tater tots. So that's pretty cool. The wings I really enjoyed, 
the tater tots I thought they were really unique that they they're the only ones that do them I think are you ready for this parking are you ready parking on Lady Pool Road bearing in mind I'm saying Lady Pool Road let me say it again Lady Pool Road it's five out of five they've got their own parking and I am blown away by that 25 spaces very easy to navigate you know it's their brand you know it's their car park I think it's amazing what they've done with the place strong orange strong neon lights uh, and a strong brand concept and when we came it was very clean all the tables were clean there was not much mess on the floor even looking in the kitchen here we go now if they do have a hygiene rating on the standard food standard agency website I'll put it on the screen right now but what I can tell when I went into the kitchen everything was completely separate so the veg was separate the meat was separate everything was stored correctly and the staff were in assembly so that was a very very good point from me I'm gonna give them a strong 4 out of 5 for cleanliness so guys there's my review be sure to like comment and subscribe get yourself down here more specifically bring your car down it's fine normally I don't encourage that but they've got their own car park comment below where I should go next and I'll see you guys in the next one